Hi, I'm Tim Capacia, Product Manager at Atlas Copco. As you might already know, Atlas Copco offers different ways to set up, manage, and control our massive offering of smart assembly tools. In this video, I'll sit with Rodney Hill, our product expert, to discuss these methods and better understand which option is right for a customer. So let's jump right in. Let's say I'm looking at all three. We have our physical controller, the integrated controller tools, and then the server-based deployment. If I'm a customer, how do I know what option's best for me? I think a lot of customers are going to find that a hybrid solution is really the best way. Okay. I'm not sure that there's, there, there's one that's going to be perfect for every application. There may be sub-assemblies, there may be training areas, there might be a different option for the tool crib, uh, depending on the use cases, right? But I think going forward, um, the most, what we would get the most bang for the buck out of would be something like tools control, where it becomes very easy to manage all your tools from one place, manage software updates, um, and have visibility of where your assets are. Um, the integrated controller tool is also a great option, maybe if you only have a few tools, or if you don't have the, the wireless infrastructure. We still have a lot of customers that may not have good wireless or can't use it for regulations or for different reasons, depending on you know, what, what kind of product they're building. Okay. Um, that tool can be really good for that. It's also really nice if you need to do some rework outside. Um, if you need to go outside and, and do some rework, you can take the integrated controller tool, still collect all that data, and bring it back in and connect it to something like ToolsNet. And, and dump all the data that you've, you've collected from the tool. You know, I, a question I get a lot is, well, what if I just have the integrated controller? I mean, why, do, why would I be interested in tools control? Could I use that and which, which is better for different scenarios? And that's a good question. And I don't think anyone is necessarily better than the other, but each of them kind of have some advantages the other one may not have, right? So the integrated controller is probably the easiest product we have to deploy. You can, you can plug it into a USB port, configure it, set it up, connect it to your Wi-Fi, and it's ready to run. Um, the server software like Tools Control, of course, will need to be installed you know, in a production uh, supported environment because it's gonna be a production critical software. Um, but the nice thing about that is that the software is in a protected environment, should never have any problems. It's designed um, to work through any issues that it, that it might encounter. Uh, and it also gives you the ability, having everything connected to one place makes it very easy to manage. So managing that equipment becomes much simpler when you can see all of your tools in one place, all of your accessories, all of your users, all of your air proofing systems all connect to one, one point, which makes it really nice for, for management in the future. Okay, you mentioned ToolsNet. Can you talk a little bit more about how this tools control software or some of these new solutions integrate with some of the higher level software like ToolsNet or even ToolsTalk 2? Sure, so the, the nice thing is all those products you mentioned there, uh, ToolsNet, ToolsTalk 2, also products like AvantGuard, um, will work with either one of these solutions. So the key point there is that they, of course, need to have good communication with, with the tools. Um, and in a lot of cases, I think that's gonna work better when you have something like tools control, because now you have a server application talking to another server application, which that, that will never be interrupted, right? Um, whereas in wireless, occasionally there's gonna be interruptions on the wireless network. That can be a little bit difficult if you, if you have um, you know, some sort of protocol, like open protocol, connecting to the uh, integrated controller tool. Occasionally it's not going to be there, maybe the tool's powered off, or maybe it goes into an area where there's not good wireless coverage, like inside of a you know, metal shell or under, under the hood of a car, for example. Um, those are gonna be some challenges you'd have to work through with your application. But if your application's connected to uh, tools control, it's much like it is today where you're connected to the controller. The controller's wired, it's always going to be there. Same thing with tools control. And then we have a protocol for our tools to, to communicate with the server. With these new insights from Rodney, hopefully it's clear that while these methods of controlling the tools are quite different, each option has its advantages, and in some cases, they can even be used together. More importantly, each option fits seamlessly into the ecosystem of Atlas Calco products and solutions for a seamless transition for our customers. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll discuss some of the key advantages of tools control. Thanks for watching.